evaluator. As an evaluator to evaluator Rich will do his best to do his uh, to be, do his objective and hopes to enhance Rick in his speech today. Rich looks forward to on evaluating on Rick's speech. Without further ado, here's Mr. Uh -huh. Rick. <laughs> I have this persevering behavior, uh, attitude towards the president saying, okay, he's an alternate speaker, I won't go too objective, I won't be too harsh and stuff. But you blew me away. Yeah. I was very amazed yeah. how well prepared you were with your speech, as well as the subject material, theme of Tales of the Subway. Very appropriate to adieu, saying adieu to New York and telling mm -hmm. you a personal story. Yeah. Yeah. Positive parts of your speech, great humor. Obviously from the interesting characters you mentioned on this way, from the bongo player to the ma magician man in the middle of Rush Hour. I was totally amazed by the magician man, especially <laughs> having the, the live rabbit <laughs> coming out of the hat. Hardly use any notes. I think mm -hmm. occasionally you peeked at your notes, but most of the time you hardly use any of your notes. Very impressive for Project 3. And also one of the objectives is trying to Stray, uh, try not to use as many notes. So very good job on that. I love the energy, enthusiasm was top notch. Hand gestures, giving an eye contact to your audience. Good job. Keep that up. It also shows that you're very super confident in what you're talking about, which obviously you didn't know what you're talking about. People from the subway in New York. Mm -hmm. Things I, I believe you could do to enhance uh, your speech would be to slowly pause a little bit and not rush. I noticed the intro at the beginning, you seem a little bit rushed. Mm -hmm. I think a good place to do is pause a little bit or have a good pace towards, I would say when you talked about the magician man and the hat, that was a really good pace, mm -hmm. like setting that off. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of transition down to the, your conclusion, which I kind of tell, oh, okay, he's concluding a little bit, he slowed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But where were you at when you were talking about the magician man? It was very engaging and I was able to hear more about the details of him, his, his interesting story, his interesting <laughs> tricks. So having that kind of pace would be really good for the future. As well as a little bit longer eye contact. You gave good eye contact to your audience, mm -hmm. but I think holding it for a little bit longer, maybe like one or two seconds, but, kind of, anyway, might, okay. might be good. But overall, I was very impressed. With your speech, yes. I see mm -hmm. really great potential for future speeches in, in Toastmasters. And thank you for letting us hear about tales of uh, people in New York. So. <laughs>